200 wait yeah the 25 percent is actually huge chat 25 percent damage buff i never hit that high i think my highest hit was 880k pretty sure hey guys i pulled sheshi and i want to talk about her my first impression and if you should pull her or not i want to give you guys some reasons why you should pull her but also a lot of reasons why you should not pull her while i do want to say she's not a bad character there's a lot of stuff that you need to be sure of before you pull her this video is probably going to be called before you pull her to be honest because i don't think she's a must-have unit let's start this video right off with my true honest 100 percent unfiltered not sponsored opinion Jaje, which i cannot pronounce still to this day is not a bad unit i do think she's a good unit but she's not necessary if you are somebody that values their asteroids and you're maybe free to play and you want a really broken or insane character that brings your team to the next level that's not it i do think Jaje should only be pulled if you look for more convenience one important question you should ask yourself first is do you even need a sub dps because i think sub dps in the game right now are very very not necessary the value of sub dps is quite low in a game where a lot of people actually do solo runs and finish most of the content with chishia one of the worst characters in the game or even danjin or havoc rover or spectral rover people finish the hardest content with, with some solo characters that are four stars or the mc so it's quite hard to say which characters are actually a must pull i saw that pride and steelist actually put sheshi in the same tier like yinshi they put sheshi in the highest tier possible next to yin lin and i also want to say i do agree with this that yin lin and shesha are very similar the damage is quite on par they don't really out dps each other very low difference i think it's like five to ten percent maybe damage difference shashi does a little bit more damage so if you have yin lin then you should probably not pull shesha but then again if you don't like yin lin's play style like me because i really don't like to use yin i actually kind of regret pulling her now with shesha her playstyle is actually quite fun and quite smooth her rotation is super easy actually and i want to show you guys the difference with yin lin one thing that always annoyed me is just that her forte bar takes so long to fill up even if you swap her in so i want to show you guys how fast actually shashi charges up her forte bar let's get the intro skill ready and then i will show you also that yin lin has this heavy attack when her forte bar is full which pretty much is just bad because it makes her very vulnerable because she's pretty much stuck in one place while she does this heavy attack now we'll show you guys sheshi filling up her forte you swap to her she already has half full now you attack like three times and it's full it's super fast what you do next is you press e press basic attack and now you can press e three times get the ult out and that's almost a full rotation you have now the next intro skill and you swap her out that was the whole thing it took like maybe five seconds if i would have done it properly because yeah i didn't do it properly but it's just so so fast and this is pretty much power creeping yin lin not damage wise but smoothness wise so this is the huge difference to yin lin you can also see that the ult it keeps attacking here it hits like for 700 damage it's not very crazy but it has a crazy long uptime because this ult actually holds up for 30 seconds and 21 attacks making her the best sub dps in the game and one thing i also want to say is that she is quite fun to play e then left click and then e three times and you can see she's very mobile she barely gets hit to be honest because she's just teleporting all over the place that means her survivability is quite higher compared to yin lin 100 so yin lin definitely has problems staying alive especially because she's stuck in the place every time she does the heavy attack i don't want to say that her damage or something is insane i think shesh is pretty similar damage wise to yin lin and i don't think you should pull her for damage reasons I do think she has more value when you look at the buffs that she gives because she gives actually quite nice buffs. Sheshi is pretty much tailor-made for Yinshi because she buffs up the resonance skill damage by 25% and Glacio damage by 20%. So this is probably gonna be good for future Glacio units. Sadly, we don't really have a Glacio unit right now that can take these two buffs into consideration. 
but maybe in the future when we get like more glacial characters and one of them is going to be resonant skill damage based this is going to be quite an insane and future proof character if you pull shashi other thing to mention is that she gives 15 resonance energy to the incoming resonator also helping a little bit with getting the ult up so i think that's also worth to mention the intro skill is nice because it attacks target and helps you breaking the bar the toughness bar pretty fast i do like shashi's playstyle a lot i want to say this i think she's going to replace my yinlin i never was a fan of yinlin's playstyle and having this unit now definitely showcases my problems that i had with yinlin it's such a short rotation and i do love convenient characters if you want to pull shashi just pull her for convenience and i do want to say she's not a must pull she's not insane she's not breaking the game she is just a convenient character if you don't have yinlin i do think she becomes more valuable because i do have yinlin and i still wanted to pull her kind of just because of this playstyle that is just more simpler it's easier and more smooth she is also more fun than yinlin i want to say that too the ult is also quite nice when you compare this to yuan vu because yuan vu's resonance skill is pretty much one very limited area you place it and enemies sometimes leave the ring the resonance skill from yuan vu is a coordinated attack i do think she also power creeps this one because her ult pretty much doesn't have a limit it's just very very far range and these birds just keep shooting out it's amazing now one thing very bad in this trial they didn't give you yin chi and i do think Sheshi is the best unit to pair up with yin chi i don't think there's any other character in the game that does pair up better than with yin chi so if you are a Yinshi main, if you love Yinshi and you want to not really bring her to the next level, because I do think a Yu and Wu and Verena team is enough in this game. But if you are somebody who really wants the 25% resonance skill damage buff with a good coordinated attacker, then it might be valuable to get her. And I said this here again, that Shashi is a convenience character. She's not a bad unit. I gave her a 7.5 actually, just because she's very cute, very, very cute. And also her animations are very good. She doesn't feel clunky to play. She has a smooth playstyle. I don't really care about meta. I also don't think that she's a meta character. She will help you a little bit in the tower, but that's pretty much it. But I don't want to say that she's completely useless, guys. I guess most people knew that this is going to be a skip patch and the next unit is going to be free. So yeah, I'm very curious about the revenue that Cheshire actually brings in. I do think after seeing her in game, my perception of her, my opinion about her definitely improved. Also some idols are very cute. As you guys can see, she draws like a, a universe or space or something. Very, very cool. Also, I think her in-game model looks like 100 times better than the art that we've seen like i wish guys that i would be able to tell you guys yes pull her she's a must pull she's great but i do think you're not missing out crazy much when you skip her i do think she's probably the most skippable five star unit we got so far because with yin lin for example i do think she brings a lot of value buffing your calcaro and the upcoming xiang li yao to the next level because yin lin actually buffs the old damage and electro damage the difference from yinlin to sheshi is why she actually has less value than yinlin it's just because we don't really have a glacier unit that is based on resonance skill damage but then again you could argue that maybe in the future something like this is gonna happen and we get a glacier resonance skill based unit and the only and biggest reason you probably should have is probably yinshi that she needs a good coordinated attacker because her coordinated attacks are amazing she has such a long uptime, it's kind of insane. There's no other unit in the game that has a 30 seconds coordinated attack. Also, it's not limited by range. It pretty much helps you so much with, with uh, Yinshi. 21 attacks. She is the best coordinated attacker in the game. The only problem with this is that coordinated attackers are, aren't that valuable right now because there's not many units that make use of this system except for Yinshi. Because Yinshi needs coordinated attacks to build up her forte bar. One other thing is that the sub DPS is quite low in comparison if you just play with a second DPS. Having the sub DPS from Yinlin or Shashe, the ultimate from Shashe maybe hits like from 2 to 3k for like 21 attacks. Yes, maybe it's like, you know, 50k damage in like 30 seconds. But then again, 50,000 damage 
in like 30 seconds, you could just swap in a second DPS and deal like double the damage in 5 seconds. For example, if you put in Shangli in a Yinshi team, it definitely will outperform sub DPS users. That's what I'm saying, that its sub DPS are quite in a weird spot and aren't really necessary. That's why I have this checklist again, I want to show you guys to make sure you don't pull wrong. Only pull her if you need and want the best coordinated attacker in the game. 21 attacks, no real range limit. Pull her if you want to be future proof. Glacio buff plus the 25% resonance skill damage. Pull her if you want a smoother character than Yin Lin or for example, a smoother character than Yu and Wu or any other coordinated attacker. She has very fast forte and she's very mobile. She teleports all over the place. People and bosses and enemies are not able to hit her pretty much. She has longer uptime than Morteffi. Resonance skill buff is quite nice, but there's not many characters that make use of this as of right now. I do think she's a very nice future proof unit if you want to pull her. She's pretty much safe for Glacio resonance skill units. But then again, if you are somebody who don't want to spend money, if you are free to play, I do think F2P should skip. This is my honest opinion. If you are a spender, you want to collect characters that are maybe in the future better, then she seems like a good investment. She's not insane. She's not breaking the game. She's just a very convenient and fun character. And that's my opinion about her, my first impression about her. Uh, if you should pull her or not, I hope I helped you guys out with this. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about Shesha? If you are not sure if you should pull her, try her in the trial and this will give you a good picture if you need her or not. Let me know guys if you pulled her, if you're gonna skip in the comments. Join our Discord for more gacha conversations. Also streaming probably right now live on Twitch, testing more Shesha. I also want to say this is my day one first impression. And in the upcoming days, maybe we're going to find out more tricks about her. Maybe we're going to find out more team compositions. Maybe she has like some secret value we don't know yet. Because Watering Waves is a game where people always keep finding new techs, new secrets and stuff. Uh, I will share some more videos about her in the future maybe. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Give this a thumbs up. Would help me out a lot. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.